everybody, a new project that I'm undertaking today uh, is going to be um, a wool bed for my my dog. Come here, Trigger. So, uh, especially when, when we go uh, hammock camping and uh, she sometimes stays in the hammock, sometimes not, but um, she, uh, you know, I want to have a place for her to uh, lay on when we go camping and maybe just, you know, around the fire, kind of her, her little spot. So uh, I went to Harbor Freight and got their 80-20 uh, uh, blended wool and they're only like nine bucks. So uh, I'm going to cut it up and when I get to the next stage, uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, so here is the uh, the blanket folded in half. So it's it's 80 inches by 60 inches. Um, I decided to fold it over, so now I've got roughly 30 inches on here. And uh, then I'm going to fold that in half, and I'll show you that. So I'm going to cut down, so basically cutting it in the blanket in half lengthwise. So I'll end up with two, two pieces, 80 inches long by 30 inches is what I'm, I'm hoping I'll get out of this. What's nice is this is a blend, um, so it'll be a little easier to wash. Um, probably still won't dry it, but um, still has enough of the oil and wool properties in it to keep her warm. And uh, my design is actually going to be a little bit bigger than just for her, but not by much. But um, you know, she does have dog friends, and you know, she'll be able to share with their dog friends. Okay, so there it is cut in half. We use this other piece for something else. So now, I get my sewing machine out, but what I'm going to do is uh, make it so I can uh, stuff it with leaves or whatnot. So I'm going to Fold in half that way. Then I'm going to fold this over, uh, kind of like a flap, so um, so I'll be able to reach up and get into the flap and put um, stuffing into it. Using the same thread and needle that I use on my, uh, like my hammocks and tarps and stuff like that. It's a, it's a uh, synthetic thread, so it won't rot. And uh, bigger needle, and and I'll probably uh, have it fairly wide, but not too wide, in the length of the stitch. I push my uh, sewing machines pretty hard. They seem to survive, but um, you know, that's what I, that's what I use them for. And so, like right now, I'm going through one, two, three layers of this uh, wool blanket. It seems to be doing just fine. Probably not liking it, but it's it's doing it. My daughter, McKenna, and your friend Jessica, this had to be in the uh, in the video. So why don't you sew? No. No? No. Alright.
So now, with the flap right here, I pull it back and then stuff this with leaves or whatever to give her a little bit of loft if that's necessary. Um, there it is. So let's go see what she thinks. All right. Here you are. Oh, there's puppy. All right. So, let's see what she thinks of this. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, good girl. <laughs> no, we're not gonna play with it. Come here, come here, Trigger. Trigger, come. Trigger, come here. Okay, Trigger, come. Come here, Trigger. Come here. Okay, come here, lay down. Lay down. Come on, lay down. Good girl, good girl. Okay, uh, it will fit her, I guess. Uh, she's too excited. Time to throw the ball. So that's the uh, Bushcraft dog bed. Uh, roll it right up. And, uh, you know, that's a good thing. Good thing, Bushcraft dog bed. And uh, she'll stay nice and warm now. Talk to you later.